everyone, it's Lisa. Today on Doodle Draw Art, we're going to be drawing Charlie Brown from the Peanuts movie. We're going to start off by drawing a circle for his head. And this is just a sketch line for his head. This is not going to be my final um, head shape. But you'll notice as well that the head of Charlie Brown is almost... Um, well, it is as high as his body, and then his little feet are just going to be down here below. So you want to make sure that on your page you have enough room for his head, his body, and his legs. So when we draw his head, these are just some guidelines for now. We're going to actually put in some proper lines. We're going to start with his ear on the left side, and we're going to make the ear start more than halfway down the circle. So if you imagined 9 o'clock being right here, going to come down more towards like I'm going to say 8:30 and I'm going to make his left ear just like a nice big C coming out from the side of his head. And then we're going to draw the circle around his head. So just this this line here becomes a bit more final all the way around to make a circle for his head. On the other side, we're going to come across to find his ear right here. So I'm just going to bump out to the side like this for his other ear. Great, and then we're going to draw his smile. So the smile starts off just about the same height as the side of his ear. So we're just gonna hop in to there and think about the other side of his smile finishing here. And we're just going to draw, um, his, he is smiling, so it's gonna be a smiling shape, but Charlie Brown is often sort of uh, having some bad luck. So even though he's smiling, his smile is a little crooked. Great. So now we're going to come up above his ears and we're going to draw his nose. So where the ears finish, like I'm just draw a guideline here, how high the ears are when they finish, this is going to be where the bottom of his nose is. So I'm just going to draw a, a dot pretty much in the very center of my circle. And I'm going to make a C for his nose, a backward C for his nose. So it's going to start a bit to the side here. It's going to come around and touch. So the top of his nose um, is a little bit longer on the edge than the bottom. I'm just going to erase a tiny little bit of this. I went further than I wanted to. All right, so from here we have his nose, and then we have his eyeballs, and he just literally has dots for eyeballs. So just slightly below the um, top part of his nose, we're going to draw nice dark circles for eyeballs. Great. And then his eyebrows are little arches right above his eyes like this. And his hair is what truly makes it look like Charlie Brown. His hair is like this cursive E. So it's going to swoop down toward his top of his eyebrow like this. And then it's going to curl up and make a curly Q. Hopefully my hand's not in the way here. And then it's going to swoop toward his other eyebrow. And it's always a little, you know, thicker and thinner in spots. And then it's going to come up over his head like this and kind of trail off. So that is his loopy one hair on top of his head. All right, so that is the hardish part of drawing Charlie Brown. Now we're going to draw his neck. We're just going to make two little lines coming down like this. And we're going to draw the collar of his shirt. So it's going to come over to the side and up and then down around his neck like this and the other side of the collar. And then from here, we'll come down for his arm like this and in and up. That's his sleeve. And then we're going to draw his hand. So it's going to come down like this. And we're just going to see, I'll bring the other side down here. We're just going to see fingers sticking out this way and that. It's a cartoon, so we often don't see every single finger the way we would in real life. And then the bottom of his shirt is going to stick out like this. And it's going to come across his belly like this. And then we're just going to come across here and draw a line that comes down to meet. So you want to make sure that he's tubby enough. You don't want to make him too thin. His head is bigger than his body across, but he's pretty, he's pretty wide when it comes to it. And then his shorts are sticking out the bottom here just like this. And then we see his other leg shorts like this coming across here. And then we have just little stubby legs. Oh, that's the wrong angle. His legs are stubby, but they're not chubby. So I'm going to angle this properly. The angle that I was drawing was going to make his legs look like they um, were fat at the top, but they're just like pretty much straight little sticks for legs. 
like so. And then not too much attention to detail here for his shoes. They're just like footballs. So you're going to draw an oval with laces across the top and the other one sticking out the back with laces across the top. I'm just going to fix this bottom line. This is why it's nice to work with pencil because you don't always do it exactly the way you want to on the first try. I mean, lots of times you do, but the times you don't, it's nice if you used a pencil. Okay, and then he has a W uh, design on his on the front of his shirt, so it's just going to go up and down like this, across, and up and down again like this, across. So you may have noticed already that there are other Peanuts characters to draw down the side here. You can click on uh, one of these pictures if you would like to try another Peanuts character. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and use my fine point markers uh, to trace over all the black lines, erase off my sketch marks, and color it in. And I'll do this in time lapse. But I hope you enjoyed watching me draw Charlie Brown today, and I hope you in drew him too. I'd love it. If you would share this video with someone, tell them about me. That's my favorite thing. Uh, hearing from new fans that found me from another friend. And also, I would love it if you would click like if you liked watching me draw Charlie Brown. And subscribe if you would like more Doodle Draw art. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.